Hey crafters, it's Muriel. So I wanted to come and show you a very small haul I bought at Dollar Tree, but I also want to use this opportunity to um, show a couple of leaf dies that I've been using that someone had been inquiring about. And um, these are the, the two that I have. I've taken them out of the packaging, as I mentioned before, but they look like this, and this is what I've been using on my cards. So I'm not sure where they came from. They could be um, MFT dies. I'm just not sure. And then I was looking through, just kind of cleaning up my craft room, and I found this one. This is the Wildflower Trio. This was at Tuesday morning. And um, it has, you know, metal dies, and they look pretty... Um, like the wild kind of look that you want when you're talking about October and November. So anyway, um, I wanted to show you that, what they look like. I'm not, again, familiar with remembering where I purchased them at, but you can get an idea. And then earlier this week, I got in the mail, I had someone order it for me, a glue skillet. I'm going to be using this when I'm making my reefs. I think it'll be a lot easier than picking up the glue gun, putting it on the stem, placing it and getting in the reef. So I would like something bigger, but this is perfect for me. Um, you just put this piece, attach it onto the uh, side, and then you just stick the glue sticks in there. And as they go down, they melt. And there's probably maybe four sticks, I'm sure, at a time, and it's electric. So it's the Sure Bonder glue stick, and I got it on Amazon, and it was only like $8. Okay, now when I went to the Dollar Tree, I was um, looking for these here. As I mentioned, I bought two packs of them. These are um, zip ties, and they have this pack of three different color, three different sizes. So it's really great if you are doing reefs. This is pretty good to have. When I was um, down that same aisle, I saw these willow reefs, and I've never seen these at the Dollar Tree before. I've seen the green ones, but never these kind, and these are the kind that I would like to have more of, so I just took four, bought four, and they do have a smaller size than this, and this is pretty small. These are 12 inches, so they do have like a six inch. So I try to pick out some good ones. So I was happy about this for a dollar. You can't beat it. I'm going to call my sister and see if she can find them in North Carolina. And if not, then I'll be sending her some because she tends to make reefs and does a fabulous job with selling them. She works for a police department. So there's 15 customers right there. And then while at the register, I finally saw these here. I've seen lots of you girls score these sentiment stickers. So I got one of each. And um, I'm sending these to a friend. I'm packing up a nice box for her. And there's double-sided. So how cool is that? So I got those. And that was all I got at the Dollar Tree. And then I wanted to show you guys, um, as I mentioned, um, these reefs here. I picked up at Michael some time ago. I'm going to work with these. Um, and the only reason why I picked them up at Michael's because they may have been $2. Otherwise, I wouldn't have gotten them. So I have two of these. And I was looking in my box that I keep a lot of stems in. And ran across these two. This one looks like I had purchased it from Value Village. And I've seen lots of, you know, I've watched lots of tutorials with reef making. And I see this kind of stuff all the time. So I am going to be using this on one of these reefs. Right, I'm just going to kind of undo it so it doesn't look too uh, scraggly, raggly. And then in the drawer was this one. And I know this one was probably for a candle, I'm sure. Same thing. This one has um, some rusty stars on it. So how cute will that be on the reef? And then just kind of open up these stars so that they can be seen because they're all tucked down in there. So that's going to be my next project, and I'm thinking that I'm just going to use this on the reef halfway. I've been dying to make a reef. Oh my gosh, my floor is going to be so full of wood pieces. Um, to make one halfway. Oh my gosh, let go. Okay, like that. Right, and just do all the decorations right there. Maybe put something in the middle, maybe... Um, the initial of the person I'm giving it to or something, but the stars sticking out like that, I think is going to be so, so cute. So, you know, it pays to kind of look in your stash because you have stuff that you know you wanted to use one day, but you didn't know what for. 
and now I have a reason. So that'll be my next project, you guys. I'll be doing some wreaths for the fall. And um, these are perfect, too, because I have um, a girlfriend and her two sisters and mother. So there's four wreaths right there that I can uh, really take these and take them to an another level. So thanks for watching. Bye now.